The River Dee is the UK's top spring salmon river and most years produces more salmon between February and May than any other Atlantic salmon river in the world. Fishing on the River Dee is permitted from the 1st of February to the 15th of October and comprises three main seasons. Stocks of migratory fish build at the start of the year with a good spring run until May. This is followed by an excellent summer run from June to August and the season closes with the autumn run from September to mid-October. The five-year average annual catch on the whole river is 7,899 salmon and 1,891 sea trout. In all, there are 48 fishing beats on the River Dee, providing a wide variety of scenery, water and characters. And this film is intended to give you a flavour of just a few of them. Welcome to the Des fishery. Um, the Des is a small estate about two and a half miles on the north bank of the, the River Dee. It's located between a boy and Concarna Neal. There's some excellent salmon water, uh, a variety of water from bigger, deeper early season pools to shallow, streamy summer pools. Um, the Des fishery here is a very secluded, a uh, very delightful beat to fish. It is far from the madding crowd. Quite frankly, get down here, you're out of the way, nobody knows where you are, and you can enjoy a pretty wonderful day's fishing. My name's Ian Smith. I've been a, a ghillie stalker and gamekeeper on Dee side for nearly 40 years. I'm very, very happy to be here. Des, it's just a wonderful little slot. Green. Well done, sir. This is actually a sea trout and a good sea trout at that, yeah. I've become up three, two, two and a half feet down here. The Fanner Estate's an estate of just over 12,000 hectares. Uh, it's made up uh, largely of about 10,000 acres of forestry and about 15,000 acres of open moorland, uh, coupled with uh, four salmon fishing beats. Waterside and Ferra have uh, a double bank, uh, left and right bank. Uh, a beat is just short of two miles in length. Generally speaking, it is a low water beat but it does have one very, very good high water pool, and that is the waterside pool itself. The wading is generally much the same as the rest of the, uh, of the Middle D. Uh, there are some challenging bits and some bits with what I like to classify as rough gravel. The waterside beat will, will fish beautifully in, in low water for either um, spring salmon, uh, but in particular it is renowned as a very productive sea trout beat. Quite a shallow beat with the exception of the, the waterside pool itself. So fishing in June, July, uh, I would certainly consider spending a bit of time fishing for sea trout. The waterside pool is overlooked on the south bank by, uh, by a beautiful fishing hut, quite an old fishing hut, uh, and it is commonly known as the Gin Palace. <laughs> the biggest salmon that I've seen landed had anything to do with whatsoever it was a fish that weighed approximately 35 pounds. It was quite a number of years ago now. That was actually on the waterside beat. He was, he was certainly congratulated and um, I think the Gin Palace was well named that afternoon. <laughs> My name is John McGinley. Um, I'm the Gillion King Cardin. I've been here for 18 years. Uh, I've taught a lot of people over the years to fish and to cast and uh, it's something that I enjoy doing. I get as much pleasure out of other people fishing as I do myself. All the fish that are caught on King Cardin are entered into our logs at the fishing huts. These are books that you can fill out yourself or I'll fill out. And this is done on a day-to-day -day basis. And this one starts in 1972, starting to get a little bit tatty. 
And you can see all the names in there. There are still one or two people from the mid-70s, I said, who still come and fish. This gives you an example of what the fishing was like in its heyday. 1980 was a particular good year and still holds the record. That year, there was 346 salmon and 77 sea trout caught. And again, all of these were caught in the spring. Now, the catches aren't what they used to be uh, 30, 40, 50 years ago. But each beat on the river on its day can produce very, very good fishing, quality of fish and numbers. There's still the chance of hitting the jackpot. And uh, I see recently there has been a fish well over 40 pounds caught on the D. And uh, it's only been a matter of time before that has happened. And I'm certain that there are other fish that size in the river as well. The River Dee stretches for 70 miles inland from Aberdeen and all the fisheries can be easily reached from its international airport. A huge range of accommodation can be found all along the river, from castles to a selection of hotels to suit all budgets. And self-catering houses and cottages are also an option. As well as the fishing, the River Dee also offers some spectacular highland scenery and there is a wide range of alternative activities and attractions to enjoy. I'm Robert Harper, I'm a head gully in Lower Crathis, and I have been now for over 20 years. Lower Crathis is classed as a lower river beat, and we're about 20 miles from Aberdeen, and we're four miles below Bankery. Uh, Lower Crathis is, I would say, very lucky in the sense that we've got double bank fishing for most of it. It's two and a half miles on the south bank and a mile and a half on the north bank. Uh, we caught salmon throughout the season, but uh, spring salmon and Lower Crathis are associated together. And uh, if we've got a good level, which we've got today, I mean, this is ideal spring water that we've got. And uh, the only difference this time of year is a bit coloured. But in the springtime, this would be running very clear and we would be very hopeful of catching a spring salmon today. Well done, Steve. A lovely clean fish. Over the years, I've seen one 30 pounder, believe it or not, and I haven't been involved in that. I've landed a few 28s, 27s, and all the way back down. But 30 is the biggest one I've actually seen landed. That's it. Well done. Recent years, um, the bigger fish have started to come back with the spring salmon. You can see each year we're starting to get bigger fish again. And this year has been one of our best. Um, we've had a 25, several 24s, and all the way back down again. So it's good to see these multi-sea winter fish. Middle Black Hall is on the south side of the Dee. We are located uh, about two miles upstream from Bankery. We're opposite Kenton, which is the home of Itchy Woods, grease line fishing in the 1920s. Uh, that's a prelude to floating lines and things like that. So we're on a very, very scenic area, which is no traffic, there's no disturbance, there's plenty of wildlife, there's plenty of wildflowers. There's actually red deer swim the river late at nights when you're fishing for sea trout. All in all, it's very, very secluded, and we seem to do pretty well most of the year. The fishing hut on Middle Black Hall has a unique character. It's homely, uh, the ghillie usually arrives in the morning, puts on the fire, gets the kettle boiling. Um, some of the guests arrive with what is known as Aberdeen butteries and we're heated up and we have tea and coffee and everything before we start. It's a three rod beat, divided into three beats, uh, one rod in each beat. Um, it's about one and two thirds miles long and it's a single bank. It's not equally divided, but it's got a variety of pools, and there's 19 pools altogether, uh, of which some are good in high water, some are excellent in low water, and some are 
pretty good at any height of water. In the morning of the, you start fishing, you just have to pick out which beach is going to fish and which pools are going to fish and which is going to wade and which is going to be on the bank. Like today, it's it's five foot on the gauge, and at, I don't think it's rising, but it's it's still bringing down grass. So at the moment, George is fishing malt steep, and Penny is fishing rock head off the bank. So um, it all depends on on the height of the river where we're fishing. The Little Black Hall Estate offers some of the finest and most secluded salmon fishing to be found anywhere on the River Dee. Situated just two miles upriver from Bankery, it provides just under a mile of double bank fishing, rare to find on the Dee, with Little Black Hall on the south side and Inchmarlow on the north. Salmon, grills and sea trout can be found in a wide variety of stunning pools, presenting water to test all levels of fishing skill. From the longest of casts, to the most delicate presentation. And in the row pot, the beat offers one of the most famous pools on the river, a long sweeping stretch whose magical waters and beautiful setting have enchanted anglers for generations. Head Gilly Martin Hayward offers visitors a warm welcome and expert guidance to the little black hall beat. Four rods can fish this side of the river in spring and autumn, following to three rods in the summer months. On the Inchmarlow side, Martin's assistant, Terry Payton, an expert young fisherman himself, provides the gillying services to three rods in spring and autumn and two in the summer. So at its best, the estate can offer seven rods a superb selection of pools and a wide variety of water. My name is Brian Sam. I'm Gilly at Krahis Castle. Uh, I've been here as Gilly for 17 years, but I've been brought up in this estate, so I've been really fished to be for 50 years, and uh, caught my first salmon when I was nine, so I've been around. The Crahas Castle Beat is uh, about a mile below Bankery itself. The uh, beat starts just at the sawmill, which is the outskirts of Bankery, and it extends down to the Milton, which is uh, just below us here, about two and a quarter mile of a beat we have in the day here, of a single bank. It's the North Bank, yes. Well, my boss likes the rods to be well looked after, and uh, the guests that come to enjoy themselves. Uh, that's what fishing's all about. It's more than actually just the fishing, it's enjoying the whole experience, the whole thing. A lot of the anglers have been coming here for a good few years, so that's a good thing, I think. If you get repeat anglers, it's always a good thing. Well, we've got Krahis Castle, which is just up here, the local landmark, just around the corner here. In depth. 200 yards from the hut here, really, as a, a crow flies. We've got um, Bankery, with a nice little village. We've got nice restaurants and bits and pieces. At the bottom of the beat here, the Milton is a nice restaurant, an art gallery, a um, few shops, and also the Deeside Railway. It starts from there. There's about a mile and a half of railway uh, with a steam engine. One time, they hope to get to Bankery. And also, up at the dam, uh, towards Krahis Castle, they've got to uh, install a new fish bus. You'd be looking at late September, early October, uh, and also a bit of water before you see them going up there, but you certainly see them. It's a very exciting job, and you meet all forms of people and different walks of life. And some really nice people. I certainly do enjoy my job. I wouldn't do it otherwise. Renowned for its regal connections, Royal Deeside and the Cairngorms is the home of Balmoral Castle, Royal Loch Nagar Distillery and Crathy Kirk, all of which have attracted kings and queens for several centuries. Royal Deeside's majesty doesn't end there. Its dramatic panoramic landscapes are a feast for the senses and just waiting to be explored. Whether it's by two legs, four wheels or from the sky, there are a wealth of activities which can be enjoyed in this unspoiled natural environment. Angling tourism on Deeside alone supports over 500 full-time jobs and annually provides £12 million to the local economy. It brings many national and international visitors who return year after year, captivated by the majestic Royal River. <laughs> 